to another channel. This is Africa from Sincerely Africa. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today is Monday. Um, I'm still at home because I got to take Aubrey to the school so she can take her kindergarten assessment to see if she can go ahead and get into kindergarten because her birthday is a week after the cutoff date, which is here in Tennessee is August 15th and her birthday is August 22nd. So to keep her from waiting a whole nother year because her week is a birthday late, a oh, week late. I'm sorry, because her birthday is a week late. Um, we just see if she can. So she has to take the assessment to see if she can get in to go to kindergarten. So we had nobody now. So just want to go ahead and open up this vlog, say hi. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. So I will see y'all on her assessment um her, the guidance counselor said that she did way better than most kids <clears throat> that come to do the testing so she's going to call us and let us know what the actual score is but if she did way better than most kids that come in then it lets me know that she passed she's i asked aubrey how the test was and she said that it was really easy and she told me all the all the things that she had to do which, in my opinion, you know, I'm not biased or anything, but Aubrey is very smart. Like, she's really, really, really smart. So, I wasn't too worried. I was more nervous about the fact that if she was going to actually participate because she gets very shy and won't really talk to people that she don't know. But the lady said, the guidance counselor said that she did an amazing job. And so, we should be getting a phone call pretty soon about the scores so yes so right now we're getting ready to go to the car wash because <clears throat> we went to mississippi over the weekend and let's just say the car is nasty you know when you're traveling you got cups and snacks and paper wraps all over the place and so and then my windshield is extra nasty you got dead bugs all over it so it was in the country part and the bugs are really bad in Mississippi, so got to clean it up and clean it out. So just wanted to let y'all know what we doing. Then when I get back home, I'm fixing to cook dinner. For dinner tonight, we're gonna have um, chicken alfredo and um, garlic toast. So yeah, y'all. <laughs> trash back there 
And then this little girl right here picked up those um those dandelions, you know, the stuff that the little plant, the little flowers that you can blow and stuff fly everywhere. She picked up a couple of those and blew them in the car. And she does have a seatbelt on, y'all. She's in her her booster seat, and she has a seatbelt on. But. And so, y'all, and um, so I showed y'all a clip of Jay and Aubrey, you know, holding hands, walking into the school. And I was, when I was at the school, I was going to pick up the camera and tell y'all that I would show y'all the school that they're going to build because the school that um, my kids go to, they um, it's a temporary school. And because they're building a new school um, for them and the school's gonna be beautiful but I was gonna say I would show it to y'all but for privacy purposes only I'm not gonna show it because you know like there's weirdos around this world that you know like do school school shootings and all that and so I was gonna say that but I never did pick up the camera to say it but while I was at the car wash while I was at the car wash I had received some text messages and phone calls um, from my daddy and my cousins and other people. They were like, oh my gosh, are you and the kids okay? Are you and the kids okay? And I'm like, what are y'all talking about? Tell me why. There was a school shooting at a school in the Nashville area. It's not over where we live, but it's about 20 something minutes away from where we live. Three kids got killed. I don't know if any teachers or any other staff members got killed, but the shooter is dead. I don't know if the shooter killed himself or if the police shot him. But like, sorry y'all, that I was on the phone. But um, uh, before I was before I continue on with this story, Aubrey passed her test. She gets to go to kindergarten. Little lady, you heard me. Yeah. You passed your test. <laughs> All right. So back what I was saying. There was a school shooting that was about 25 minutes from where we live, and three kids got killed. I don't know if any other staff members got killed, and the shooter um, died as well, which I don't know if he killed himself or if he got shot by the police. But y'all, I am like so over, so over this type of stuff. Like, why do people feel the need to attack other people, especially the kids. Like y'all know, I'm a I'm a mother, of, of, of course, but I'm a teacher as well, and I teach like pre-K kids. And like I am very overprotective of them, just like I'm overprotective of my own children. So like it really bothers me. Like why in the world do people feel the need to attack kids or attack innocent people at all? Like, I don't mean, I mean, like, I don't condone the type of stuff, but, like, if you're going to kill someone, shoot your, take your own life. Don't take innocent people's lives away. Like, I just, I just, it just makes me so mad, but, <sighs> anyways, I'm back at home, and I'm about to cook some dinner, but I just wanted to share that with y'all. Y'all, it makes me so nervous, because I was just thinking about that. I was like, I would show y'all the picture of how their new school is going to look but people are weird these days because there's a lot of school shootings going on but a school shooting happened today like not too long ago so goodness prayers for those families it's really sad and heartbreaking that this is even going on like i hate stuff like that so I'm currently in my car, sitting at the bus stop, waiting for um, Jaden to get off the bus. Eating me some of these pretzels. Y'all, if you have not tried these, try them. They are delicious. This is the honey mustard kind, and I promise you they're so good. But, you know, I was sitting here thinking about what happened today. Um, I just cannot imagine, you know, you know how most mornings, you know, during the week are just so rushed. 
how you know you wake up in the mornings you getting yourself ready you're either getting your kids ready or the kids getting themselves ready and you know you're trying to make sure that they're well put together you know, make sure their teeth are brushed face is clean they smelling good all that type of stuff and most mornings you know are so are so busy that some sometimes you may forget to even say i love you or give a hug or whatever and i just cannot imagine going through all that and then sending my child on off school you're going on to work or you're going back home you know if you're a stay-at-home parent and just to get a phone call saying that your school your child's school has been hit you know what i'm saying with a with a shooter or that your child didn't make it like i just my heart is broken and my heart goes out to those parents of the three kids that got killed it ended up being three kids and three um three adults they were either teachers i don't know but they were three staff members and the shooter ended up being a female, which I have never heard of a female shooter. I'm sorry, I keep licking my lips. My lips are dry and I left my chapstick at home. But anyways, like, I just can't imagine, you know, going through all that, you know. And it doesn't matter what area, area that you're living in because this area that it happened at it was one of those rich towns those rich communities and the school was a private um christian school and um but it it, it just doesn't matter i'm at this point i'm just you know so scared as a teacher i'm afraid and as a parent i'm even more afraid you know because my kids they don't go to the same school that i work at of course because you know I work in a different area, different town, than, and my kids go to the school that are zoned in this area. But anyway, you know, I don't know. Mm, I just don't know, like, why do, it's like every year, all school year long, somebody's going into a school. Like, I don't know, like, the school that I'm at, for the most part, you know, is pretty safe. Like, the teachers, we have to have a code to get in. And in order for um, anyone else to get in, they have to ring a doorbell. And then there's a camera on the doorbell. And so the people that are in the front office can see who they are. And they ask them before they come in, may I help you? What do you need? And stuff. And if they are unfamiliar with the people person they'll meet them at the door or you know stuff like that so for the most part i can say that our school is very kind of sort of secure but a lot of these other schools are like not all that secure you know what i'm saying like at my son's school i was telling i was bringing this to my husband's attention at my son's school it's locked and you have to ring a doorbell and they also have a camera on the door as well but they don't ever ask like yes may i help you or anything like that they just unlock the door and a person just walks on in and the person could either go choose to go to the door to go where the office is at or they can choose to go to the door where like all the other classrooms are at like once they let you in that's it and i'm like that's really not safe at all so I don't know I just really just hate this like and it's always the schools and I mean it's you know it's other areas too like grocery stores churches like any area are having mass shootings but it's always the schools and I'm not understanding why they choose to go into the schools I don't understand why but all I'm all that to say this um, if you still you know have your children 
with you if your kids are like in your home like no matter how old they are whether they're babies toddlers teenagers grown-ups if they're living with you or if you see them daily love on them whenever you see them love on them hug on them let them know how much you love them let them know how important they are to you cherish every moment like you know because you just never know and i ooh, i don't ever want to experience that because i promise you like i i just don't ever and i'm pretty sure they didn't i mean i, I know that they didn't want to experience that as well like who wants to send their kid off to school to get killed like no you send your school your kids to school so they can get an education so that they can interact with other children you know so they can have fun school is supposed to be yes for educational but it's supposed to be fun it's supposed to be safe and, and it's not and it's sad you know but no matter what no matter how old your babies are love on them give them all the love in the world uh, create memories with your children whether it's cooking together talking together playing together cleaning up together whatever it is create memories create moments enjoy every second of the day so my prayers my thoughts and my prayers my heart are towards those people for the parents for the loved ones of the adults, you know. Yeah. It's just, whew. but. So I'm just gonna continue to sit here and eat my snacks and wait for my child to get off the bus. Also, why can't people mind their business? Yo, I'm sitting in my car, recording myself talking or whatever, and people are looking at me like, who is she talking to? Why are you worried about it? Like people are legit like staring at me Mind your business, sis. <laughs> oh, yeah, can you put a part in it? Where? Right here. Okay. Gracias. I, you don't need no more this. Just a little bit. Need some moisturizer. <laughs> oh my God, thank you so much. Hmm? Do I need to straighten my head up? Hmm? Like this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh my God, where you gonna put it? Oh my God, it's so beautiful. <laughs> the best beautician ever. I'll put it in my nails. <laughs> my brow said no. <laughs> I said no. <laughs> Bro. Let me see your eyebrow. What the hell? <laughs> Good, look like some toothpaste. She been playing in it. And it got... Oh, yeah. Today was a beautiful day. Or is a beautiful day. It's getting ready to... Um, the sun is getting ready to set. But... Today was a beautiful day. Um, uh, not so long ago, we went to, well, let me slow down. So if I didn't tell y'all, I am officially a soccer mom. Jaden is in soccer now. So we had to go out to the field, um, the soccer field, to um, pick up his uniforms. So I got his uniforms in the washing machine washing, because you know, you gotta make sure it's clean. So I got that washing. I'm gonna let it air dry tonight. And then he has practice tomorrow. He has practice every Tuesday and Fridays. And then he has a game starting 
this Saturday. So he's gonna have a game every Saturday and I'm super excited about that, y'all. So that's what we did. We went to go pick up his uniforms and then we came back, you know, and enjoyed. So anyways, as I was saying, um, when we came back home, we took advantage of this beautiful sunny weather. It was so nice, like it was beautiful. So um, the kids went outside to the playground and then I was gonna go to the gym and work out, but I was like, let me just go for a walk. So I went for a walk and it was nice. It was just, it was a wonderful walk. So we just came back inside. I just gave Aubrey her shower. Jaden is in there taking his shower. And um, yeah, so I'm about to get ready to clean up because y'all, this place has is a, is a mess. It's a hot mess. Um, but y'all, before hey, turn it down. Before I get off, it's still loud. Turn it down a little bit more. But before I get off of here, I want to tell y'all the story of something that happened over the weekend. Uh, so there was this couple, right, that lived in this town that was in my home state. Um, they were married. They had four children. And um, the wife had found out that her husband was bisexual and that he had been cheating. Now, those two things alone, you know... Just imagine your husband, you find out your, that your husband has been cheating and he's bisexual. Like that right there would hurt you. So, you know, I don't know. A lot of couples are different. Most people will talk about it and work it out. Most people will just leave, split, divorce. Well, let me tell you what this young lady, young lady did. Um, so she got on Facebook Live and she just um you know they were arguing arguing and the kids were home her mom i think it was her mom or his mom one or the or the other um were there too and they were arguing the man was trying to get you know just get his stuff get out the door so he can go to work and you know whatever whatever and his wife decided to pick up a weapon and just in the back of his head. All of it was on live. I think they still have the video up. Now, they, they didn't show the part where she actually did it, but you can hear it. And yeah. And then like, it was about an hour long. So, but the police was there. They locked her up and she was saying what her, what her reasoning was. She was saying that uh, they were playing around with the weapon and the weapon went off. But I feel so bad because those children were there to experience that. And that is something that they'll have to deal with for the rest of their life. The youngest was about, I want to say about two, she was a newborn, he or she, the baby was a newborn baby. So a few weeks old. And it's so sad, you know. But I said all that to say this, like, if you are experiencing infidelity in your marriage and like, if that's a deal breaker to me, there'll definitely be a deal breaker because uh, -uh if you did it once, you're gonna do it two, five, ten more times. So, not dealing with it now. If you can handle it, that's on you, but me, I'm out the door. But if you are or are, are experiencing infidelity in your marriage and you can't deal with it, just go. It's not worth losing your life, it's not worth your children experiencing that like that's gonna play that's gonna replay in those kids head for the rest of their lives now they don't have either parents um i'm assuming they'll maybe raised by their grandparents or grandmother i don't know whoever but it's not worth taking a life now I, well i ain't gonna say all that but think before you act or react because, like I said, I already know that that would really hurt. It's, it's bad enough to find out that your spouse has been cheating. But to be cheating and, you know, that is, you know. But 
it's not worth taking a life. It's not worth losing a life. It's not worth it because now who you, you can't see your kids no more. Your kids can't see you anymore. Your kids are without their parents now. Your kids are going to be traumatized for the rest of their life. So, like I'm saying, if you are experiencing that, which I pray that none of us will, but it happens, um, and that's not that's your deal breaker. Just go, leave. Think about your children and their future. That's all I gotta say. It was very sad, very heartbreaking. Like, um, I, I, I understand that she was hurting, but now it's like you have completely ruined your life you know what i'm saying your children's lives family members lives but i just want to say all that to say this it's, it's not worth it it's not so i'm gonna end this vlog right here because i ain't got nothing else going on i hope that this vlog was not too boring because i mean i really don't know if i showed a lot because i really didn't um i am I am going to challenge myself to vlog a little bit more. I'm going to try to vlog at least two or three times a week. I'm going to try. Um, it's not like I have a lot going on because I really don't have a lot going on. I mean, we do the same old thing daily based just a lot. I mean, just about. Um, but I'm going to try. So... Oh, and I do want to say this. Thank y'all so much for the love that you have shown, for the shares, for, you know, helping me reach my goal. You know, I have I have a ways to go still, but I am getting there. And it's thanks to you guys for just loving, you know, just watching my channel, supporting my channel, and sharing my channel to other people. So I really do appreciate it. So thank y'all so much for helping me reach 200. I think I'm a little bit over 200. You know, it goes up and down. People subscribe and they unsubscribe. They subscribe and they unsubscribe. So the number goes up and down. So I'm assuming that right now, I'm still at 200. <laughs> so thank you all so much for the love that you have shown. Um, welcome to all the new family members. Thank y'all for being here and tuning in. And I hope that you stick around to, you know, grow with me and journey with me as I continue to learn about this YouTube thing because I'm still learning. I still have a ways to go. Um, I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job, but I still have a ways to go. So that's all I have for y'all. I'm gonna, I've been on here for seven minutes, maybe a little bit over seven minutes. So I'm going to um, get ready to clean up because this place is a hot mess and call it a night. So if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Say hi. Don't be shy. Please don't be shy because I want to interact with my people. Okay? I love to talk. I love to interact with my people. So, um, I think that's all I have for right now. So, I will see you all in my next one. Peace. Have a good night. Bye. It's a, it's a, it's